hello welcome to another video it's gonna be a quick one it's just a little bit of a chatty introduction to what the bloody hell I am putting myself through in April why am I doing this to myself ah, I don't know right as you can tell from the title of this video, in April I am putting myself through VIDA. If you are unfamiliar with VIDA, it stands for Video Every Day April. Video Every Day in April, or Vlog in Every Day in April, or yeah, that, that's it. Video or Vlog. Every day of April. And for some reason, I am putting myself through that this year, and this is the 1st of April. Happy April Fools! This isn't an April Fools joke, I am genuinely doing this for reasons unknown to me. <laughs> I say that. There is a reason. Um, I've wanted to do this for a really long time. Many years back I used to be into watching a lot of art YouTube, like people doing their sketchbook tours, people doing like sketches every day of April, and I feel like Vida is possibly more of a thing on art tube art tube is that a thing art youtube i don't see it so much in booktube but from watching these artists do it in april's past it's always been something that i've kind of thought in the back of my mind one year i would like to do that just to see if i can just to push myself give myself a little bit of a challenge see if I can put myself through it. So this year, April 2021, I'm really sorry about the fluctuating lighting, the sun does not know where it wants to be. But this year, April 2021, is going to be the year that I am going to be putting myself through Vida. I will be uploading a video or having a live show every day of April. I have planned, I've got my diary and everything is planned out in here which in itself is a challenge for me because if, if you don't know this about me I am not one for scheduling or planning in advance very much. When it comes to my videos and my content I am very much a film, edit, upload on the same day sort of girl. Like once I've edited and exported a video I very rarely sit on it. I will just upload it. If that means uploading it at 10 o'clock at night or 2 o'clock in the morning, so be it. It's the right time for someone somewhere. And I know that's very chaotic and I'm sorry to the people that that annoys. <laughs> but it's just the sort of person I am. So uh, for April, not only am I challenging myself by creating a bucket load of content, I'm also planning in advance, filming in advance, editing in advance. <laughs> uploading and scheduling because otherwise I could not do it because I still have a full-time job. I'm still going to be working throughout all of April. I'm still somehow going to need to be reading throughout April. So it's a lot of forward thinking, a lot of planning, which is not really the sort of person I am when it comes to my YouTube channel. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how successful this is, but I think it's going to be fun. Um, the way I've scheduled this out is that Mondays are vlog days. Mondays usually are vlog days for me, so that should be fine. And Saturdays happen to be live show days, like mostly by accident, but the Saturdays are live show days. So we've got four live shows within the month, and then Mondays being vlog days, and every other day is actual video content. So you have something to look forward to from me every single day of April and this is day one of me just panicking basically and hoping that this goes ahead um, and exposing myself for being a terrible forward thinker and a terrible planner so that's that's exciting. Fortunately this first weekend of April, um, it's Thursday today obviously but this first weekend of April is a bank holiday weekend in the UK so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is a few days off so hopefully I can get a lot pre-filmed and sorted and scheduled in that time. But also Saturday the 3rd is Raidathon. If you didn't know I have announced it like ages ago now it feels um, but Saturday is Raidathon so the content for Saturday will be YouTube live sprints because I'm doing a 24 hour readathon. If you're not familiar with readathon, it is my 24 hour readathon. Play on words with my name being JD Ray. 
So instead of a readathon, it's a raidathon. <laughs> but that's going to be 24 hours of reading, so content for that day will be sprints. So that's exciting. Doing raidathon in general is very exciting, so um, you've got that to look forward to as well. So April is really a heavy month for me, not only with doing Vida and putting myself through this, but also a raidathon, because they're intense, but hopefully with it being the Easter bank holiday weekend, that will help me out with timing and stuff. But yeah, other than that, things you've got to look forward to in this month, we have the Truth Witch live show coming up for the Witch Lands Along, so keep your eyes out for that. Middle Grade Monthly live show, as always, will be within the month, so you've got that coming up. The book for the Middle Grade Monthly live show um, this month is The Witch's Boy by Kelly Barnhill. I'm super excited to read that. Um, the live show for that will obviously be towards the end of the month, um, but if you want to participate in that, be sure to grab yourself a copy of The Witch's Boy um, and read that and join us for that live show. I'm very excited about it, as I say. I loved um, Kelly Barnhill's other book, The Girl Who Drank the Moon. I really loved that, so I'm excited to dive into her other book. And yeah, the live show for that will be towards the end of April. Um, and then usual weekly vlogs, you'll see me panic in those, I assume, because it's going to be a lot of managing content, but hopefully I can still get some reading done in there as well. That would be nice. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy month, but I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I really think that this is a terrible idea and a brilliant idea. I can't decide how I feel about it entirely. Um, I'm excited to give it a go and see if I can do it. It's gonna be a challenge, but I am also terrified that it's just gonna stress me out so much. <laughs> So hopefully all of the pre-planning and getting things sorted in available days in advance helps. We'll see. I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you enjoy the month and enjoy seeing me struggle. You know, at the end of the day, I'm doing this for you as well as for me. Extra content. Lots of content. And I'm excited about some of this. I think it's going to be fun. I hope you enjoy. Yeah. Okay, with all that being said, that's pretty much all I have to let you know. I just wanted to let you know what the bloody hell Vida is, why I'm putting myself through it, and some of the things that you have to look forward to. So I hope you're excited. I'm nervous and excited, but we'll see how it goes. So with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after, and the day after, until the end of April. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.